So, okay. I am going to try and tape. Tape this again because it didn't work very well. Earlier, of course, Ethan's sending me messages, so I don't know how it's going to work now. Um, this is for weeks 13 and 14. And yes, it is another car video, sadly. <laughs> too much longer. Brian will be back in school and I'll have the house to uh, kind of sort of myself. It'll just be, you know, me and Wyatt. So we'll go back to doing them in the bathroom. When I feel a little less awkward with everybody kind of standing around listening to me. So, um, symptom wise, I'm feeling pretty good actually. The Most of the morning sickness is gone. I still sometimes feel a little bit sick to my stomach. But really not, not bad. Nothing like it was. And the fatigue has let up for the most part. <clears throat> I'm still tired, but that has more to do with working split shifts and working, um, like this week I'm working six days in a row, a split shift almost every day. Just even the thought of that makes me tired. But oh well, it'll be over soon. The summer will be over soon. And things can go back to normal. There's not a whole heck of a lot else symptom-wise. I've had a little bit of sciatic pain. If I just turn, you know, just the wrong way, I'll do something funny and it won't feel right. Um, I did have a pretty nasty headache yesterday. And it was kind of one of those I didn't know at what point I should be concerned. I kind of started halfway through the day, and I, I hadn't had any caffeine yet, so I tried drinking a pop. That didn't make it any better, and yeah, I just, I didn't know, like, when do you know if it's something with your blood pressure, or if it's just a migraine, or, I don't know. So I called the OB nurses line, the one that's 24 hours, and I talked to a nurse there. She said it's too early for anything like preeclampsia or anything to really worry about my blood pressure, um, to sh all you can really do is take Tylenol and try some caffeine, and I told her that I had tried those things, and my headache was still get getting worse, so she said, go ahead, chug, like, you know, make yourself a cup of coffee, and chug it as fast as you can, and give it an hour, and if you're still, you know, that extra boost of caffeine again still isn't putting a dent in the headache and you still feel bad or you're feeling worse, you can go ahead and come in. I mean, you can go into the ER if you want, but I don't really like going to the ER when you're pregnant because they just, they're not really equipped to deal with that kind of stuff. I don't know how to say it. They just don't care that much unless you're, you know, lost your arm and you're bleeding to death. Or you can go into triage, which, like the OB triage or whatever, I don't remember sure what it's called, but you go in there like you would if you were in labor and delivery type stuff. Um, she said, if I call ahead of time, they can set up a room and have it there waiting for me so that when I get there, they can go ahead and just give me some oxycodone and hopefully that would help the pain. But, you know, I really didn't want to have to go in if I don't have to and sitting in the, the room and waiting for someone to come and feel like crap and the last thing you want to do is sit on one of those hard beds and yeah I just decided no I'll, I'll try the coffee again and try and stick it out and thankfully I did after I had that cup of coffee it made a big difference and the headache finally started going away and I finally started to feel better because by the time I called her my headache I mean it was definitely one of the, no, I wouldn't say the worst headache I've ever had, but it's definitely up there. It was, it was not good. And at that point I was dizzy and I was nauseous and my hands were shaking. Yeah. If things didn't get better, I was going to have to go in, but thankfully they did get better and I didn't go in. And I didn't need the oxycodone, which is good. I mean, it's a class B drug, the same as Tylenol is. So it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. But like I said, I didn't want to have to sit there at the doctor's office. And, or not the office, or whatever. You know what I mean. So symptom-wise, things have been pretty good. I, um, 
I do have problems. Well, I've had problems with arthritis in my left knee for like three years now. And for whatever reason, when I'm pregnant, I tend to have it in my left shoulder too. And I have carpal tunnel, usually pretty bad at the end. So I got one of these. It is a Baltic Amber necklace, but it doesn't fit me very well. I, it fits, but it just, I don't like necklaces being that close around my throat. So I put it on as a bracelet and, and it works pretty well that way. It's a little big, but it fits well and it's comfortable. Hopefully, that's supposed to be a natural pain reliever. Um, good Lord, I'm having problems with battery. I'm never going to get this thing filmed. Um, yeah, pain reliever, inflammation, fever. It's supposed to help with all those kind of things. So, And it can take up to like two weeks to start seeing, like really noticing an effect. My knee does hurt today, but not super bad. So I'm hoping if I wear because like, you have to take it off to shower because you don't want to get like soap and lotion and stuff on it that makes it less effective because it builds up a barrier a film between the amber and your skin and then it's not doing you any good so it's going to take me wearing it and remembering to put it on and remembering to wear it right after I take a shower because that's kind of my biggest problem is forgetting to put it back on hopefully it works though I like it. It's pretty. I actually decided to paint my fingernails. That's a big first in a while. I haven't painted my nails in a long time. I haven't had fingernails long enough to be worth painting, but you know, with being pregnant and having a job that doesn't require me to have short nails, I've actually let them grow. But the only thing is, I don't normally wear pink nail polish. It's just not my, not my thing. I like the odd colors. I prefer colors that are like blues and purples and greens and black and dark reds. And So yeah, pink is weird. It is kind of like a hot pink with sparklies though, so it's not, it's not pink pink at least. Um, not a whole heck of a lot else going on actually. Starting to feel better. Baby's moving around a lot, especially at night when I lay down to go to bed. I get to feel a lot of movement there. A lot of, a lot of rolling, a lot of kicking, which just feels like little thumps to me. Tonight when I was at work, I felt quite a bit of movement when I was just sitting there watching them bowl. So, that's good. I mean, you know, it helps because my fetal Doppler isn't working. And not that it's not working, it's just that... I have a lot of extra padding and it takes a while for it to work properly. And it's just not right now. And it's frustrating to want to get the heartbeat and not be able to find it. I can hear the baby swooshing around in there. Every time it moves you hear a noise. But you can't really hear the heartbeat. I've heard it for like two seconds in kind of a passing motion type thing heart just happened to pass where the Doppler was and I caught it for two seconds but that's it that's all I've gotten so I'm hoping that starts working soon it's frustrating I loved having the reassurance with why of just putting that thing on and being able to hear the baby and know that everything's okay I don't have that right now so it's kind of frustrating um but like I said at least I can feel the baby moving which kind of makes up for the Doppler not working right now at least I know everything's okay as long as I feel baby move out there. I feel baby move in there at least once during the day. I'm pretty comfortable with that. Um, next appointment is until the first week of September. I have a glucose screening on September 4th. And a midwives appointment on September 5th. And then hopefully on the 5th. We'll finally get to schedule the 20-week ultrasound so we can find out if this baby's a boy or a girl. Because I am so tired of waiting. <laughs> I just, I'm tired of buying yellows. And I don't really want to buy any green because green looks great on a boy, but I don't think it looks very good on a girl. And, yeah, I'd just like to know so I could start stocking up on clothing. Because we need a lot of newborn infant stuff that we just don't have. 
and I don't want to buy anything in any particular color, so I know if this baby's a boy or a girl, so. I guess that's it. I gotta run into Quick Trip. I gotta check my messages, see what it is Ethan even wanted from Quick Trip. So, um, I'm kind of deciding what channel I'm gonna be continuing to put these videos on, if I'm gonna put it on the channel I started to do these videos, or if I'm gonna switch everything over to my main channel. So, I'll keep you updated and let you know where I'm at and if I'm going to close the one channel and we'll see. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I kind of want everything in one spot, but I don't know. I got time to think about it, I guess. So, thank you for watching. Um, if you want to subscribe, please subscribe. I will let, like I said, if I change channels, I'll let you know what that channel is and you can resubscribe to that one if you're not already a member. Alright, I think that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.